What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy free option on how to improve your microphone quality right away. And there are probably a lot of tutorials out there in OBS on how to use plugins and other ways you can adjust your audio and stuff like that. And down the line I want to get into more in-depth tutorials. But this is a piece of software that I think can benefit even the most toothbrush quality, potato quality microphones out there. Um, out of sheer curiosity, I picked up a Neewer NW800. This is this thing right here. As you can tell by its wonderful gold mesh pop filter, this is, this is the epitome of quality. And for the low price of like $18, you can get this microphone. Now, other people have stated and wondered are these microphones worth it like are they really even meant to be streaming microphones in my opinion no but i think i can make a sound pretty decent with the software that's what i'm using right now while i'm recording this now just to preface this before i go any further i'm using logitech's built-in software it's the only way I can get my webcam right now to cooperate in full resolution. I cannot get it to pop up in OBS. I After I did my new build, everything just kind of... I had to restart all my OBS stuff. And for whatever reason, webcam is not working. So, that being said, uh, my experience with audio, just to kind of also preface the series of videos... I primarily was a vocalist. I still do vocals and I've made YouTube videos for quite some time and I also create music, mixing and mastering. So uh, I do have experience, not like professional experience because I've never been paid yet to do anything. But as a hobbyist, I think I have some Definitely some advice that I wish I could have told myself years ago when I was buying cheap USB microphones and I wanted to, you know, what I know now, I wish I knew back then. So hopefully the information and tips I pass along will come in handy. So that being said, I won't talk about microphones too much in this video. This is just about how to improve your existing microphone without running out and buying a piece of hardware because some people are under the impression that oh I can buy this cheap $20 microphone plug it into a USB sound card which you're hearing it from my USB solo a Focusrite solo it's a USB interface it's a pretty popular and this did not sound any different from when I plugged it in with like because this microphone comes XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter, which is so, it's such a no-no on so many levels. And I also use my Zoom H4n Pro, which I don't know, Pro, whatever. And really the quality was negligible. So that leads me to my next thing is that you can only polish a turd so much but even with enough effort in audacity or something like that with a little bit of eqing you can make a microphone sound really decent um like i said you can only polish a turd so much so i'm going to switch over to my screen real quick and i'll be in the corner so this is the microphone that i personally purchased and this is what I'm using right here the Neewer NW800 yes professional sounding microphone I think not but if you type in Neewer NW800 even if you have a toner one or a Zing Yu or a fuck you made from China microphone they're really all the same thing they're meant to look nice for your stream and stuff like that i would not recommend this microphone by any means except for sheer curiosity and these kits 
for like 42 bucks you can do much better but that's not what this video is about so you bought your $19 microphone because you're on a shoestring budget the first thing that I would do I would download this program right here it's called voice meter banana and you can either get voice meter or voice meter banana voice meter banana has more features that if you are streaming you might be interested in just because you can send different outputs like Spotify to one side of your like virtual cable and your game audio to another section or another cable like virtual cable it's kind of interesting how it works essentially what it does is it creates virtual outputs for your system audio and you can do this in the windows mixer pretty well but this is this kind of makes it easier but so that's why i originally downloaded the software i didn't realize that it actually made my microphone sound a lot better before this for chatting I was just using my Samson Go mic. It's a USB microphone I've had for years. I'll touch on that when I talk about microphones more often, but I will show you the software, which is up right here. Now, there's a few things that you want to check right away. You want to make sure that this is set to B1. So that's actually sending the audio to and like whatever you're recording to. So that's really important. And switching this to mono. I think is important for vocals especially or speaking of any kind just because well unless if you're doing an interview mono you, you really don't need stereo i think vocals and for the most part should be in mono you can do more with them with editing and then i have a very small gate set up this is a very sensitive microphone and you don't need a ton of power to run it at least five volts of USB power, depending on what you're doing. Uh, the interface I have has 48 volts of phantom power, and even I think that's actually overkill. So, as we see here, you can use this little knob here and you can adjust it. So, since I have more of a bassier voice, in my opinion, I moved it over to the left, and I feel like it kind of makes my voice fuller and thicker. And it sounds like how it should now i've heard my voice through multiple sources i've heard it through several hundred dollar microphones and i've heard it through the most toothbrush quality microphones like gaming headset quality microphones honestly i've heard gaming headsets like leagues above the quality of this microphone out of the box but with voice meter banana you can make this microphone sound very well. So there's only a few things that you really need to be careful of. Make sure that this is MME, that's important. And this is the input is voice, is, is the focus right USB. Then over here, we wanna make sure that this is also an MME. This is also headphone out. And we also want to make sure that everything is at 48K, especially these virtual inputs. These are also at 48K. And you can switch some of these settings in the software settings. So let me show you that right here. You can switch that in this. And then after you install the software, go to where you install Voice Meter Banana. And let me move this over here, minimize that. We have the virtual IO control panel. That's what I was mumbling about earlier. We wanna make sure that all these cables are set to the same sampling rate. That will reduce things like latency or artifacting during your recording. So it'll make life a lot easier. So just go through and make sure that everything is at well, this one I'm not using, so I don't have to really mess with it, but it'll make life a lot easier for you. And really, you can play with that all you want and see what works the best for you. Next, I'm going to use this microphone test phrase, and I'm going to speak a few lines and 
I'm going to play them back. So, like, just because I don't know how the Logitech software is going to be compressing this audio on top of the YouTube uh, compression, I might upload the files separately, and you can listen to them at your leisure if you'd like. If not, this might be a decent representation if you're thinking about using this microphone or your microphone to stream with. And now I could mess around with this gate more if I was worried about reducing mouse clicks or keyboard, like mechanical switches and stuff like that. Like I said, microphones are going to be for a separate video. This is just for um, improving upon what you have. Just a quick little side note. I don't like when people recommend super expensive gear right away. And, and I say that because using what you have first will make you learn a lot more. It'll make you more creative. And I think just going balls to the wall and spending money on like a $400 microphone. I mean, that's a, a huge risk that you're taking. But if you have the expendable income, go for it. This is more or less for the people that have a, like a shoestring budget to get the microphone working as it should and kind of tweaking it. So following those settings in voice meter banana, like I said, I like this low setting for the nice uh, broadcaster-esque quality. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to speak these Harvard mic test lines. I'm going to throw up Audacity here as well, and we will play them back as well. So, okay, here we go. I'm first going to play them with my... This is how I have a setup. So after you, I guess I should show that real quick. So after you install voice meter banana, you will see these virtual inputs and stuff like that and outputs. So for playback, that's not too important unless if you want to EQ stuff and, you know, add more bass and stuff like that, which is handy, but not really the purpose of this video. We're focusing more on the recording. So I call my voice meter uh, VAIO, not the auxiliary one. That's like your second microphone. If you would choose to record two microphones, you can do that with voice meter banana for free. If you want more outputs and inputs, you would have to spend money. So just be aware of that. It, it, the software is free, but you can donate or you can donate and get more features. So. That being said, I just use the free stuff. So as you see, I'm talking. So the focus right USB is picking up my voice and the voice meter banana input is also picking up my voice. So, okay. And just make sure that everything is at the same sampling rate, right click, advance. And I don't wanna mess around with anything too much just because I just don't want everything to explode. I don't have to worry about that too much because I have the output and voice meter banana going to my Focusrite solo anyway. That also has a pair of headphones plugged in in my studio monitors. So, all right, let's get to it. The first test will be me speaking into the microphone. And we're going to play it back in Audacity just because maybe the quality will be better after I play it back versus whatever Logitech software is doing. So, all right, let's try this. Make sure it's going to be loud enough. Okay. Hopefully I don't burp or anything. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The colt reared and threw the tall rider. 
It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. Read verse aloud for pleasure. Okay. We're going to pause that. Do a little punch and roll there. And now I'm just going to drop this down. And now this is just straight into the focus right without voice meter banana. So you're going to hear it with voice meter banana because that's how I'm recording it through the Logitech software. But when I play it back, you can hear the differences, hopefully. And I have some, like, I have my fan on. I have a USB fan blowing on me because it's very warm in this room right now. And, but it's just the way it is. So hopefully it's not too distracting. Okay, here we go again. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The colt reared and threw the tall rider. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. Read verse out loud for pleasure. Okay, so now we're going to listen back to this. Pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The colt reared and threw the tall rider. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. Read verse aloud for pleasure. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The colt reared and threw the tall rider. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. Read verse out loud for pleasure. Okay, so let me go back to... Okay. Eh. Alright, so just making sure that I'm now in frame. So, as you can probably tell by those two comparisons, without Voice Meter Banana being on... It kind of added some presence and some thickness, if you will, to my voice. But I think it sounds very natural. You can do some crazier things in Voice Meter Banana, like making yourself sound like a robot. It's essentially a software based. <sighs> Sorry for the burping. <laughs> so professional, I know. Like, why, why should you trust me? But I try to keep it casual for a reason. So, hopefully, what you heard was that with Voice Meter Banana, we got a better, objectively, a better sounding recording. Now, of course, my gain is up probably too high. That's why you're hearing a lot of plosives. And if I had a windscreen, I would, you know, adjust things differently. But if I'm sitting at my computer playing games, if I'm just chatting, I'm really not worried about using a windscreen. I'll, I will cover that in a future video, but then the second recording without any voice meter banana settings, it sounds very thin and almost makes my voice sound nasally. That's how it sounded like through my headphones at least. And it, it, it's passable. Like if you want to use the mic that way and are satisfied with it, go for it. But for really little to no effort, you can make your microphone sound better. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you can only polish a turd so much before you're just like, all right, I have exceeded the what I can do with this microphone. But Audacity is a pretty powerful tool, 
And with that, you can actually do a bunch of things to improve your audio as well. But, and when you use OBS, you can also use Reaper plugins in OBS. And OBS actually has some settings in there that once I get OBS working with my uh, webcam again, or maybe I'll just get a new webcam, still haven't figured that out yet. You can also make your voice sound better and improve your audio quality. And while you want your video quality to be good, you also want your audio quality to be on par as well. It'll make you stand out a bit more. And especially if you're using cheaper products. And there's really nothing wrong with that. I mean, I started off somewhere too. But uh, that's really it for this video. Like I said, everything I've showed you in this video has been free. And that is the best way to try to do this is see what you can do without spending money first. I really don't think when you buy a $20 microphone like this, buying a $100 interface or sound card is really going to make all that big of a difference. It's just, like I said... You can only polish a turd so much. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I plan on doing more videos regarding audio. Hopefully, I don't have to use Logitech software. But if I do, it's going to be the way of the future, I guess. But I really don't want to do that. But I always have issues ending these videos. So, hopefully, you found something useful. And I will see you next time on the next video, whenever that may be. Thanks.